Shalom friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a custom Microsoft 365 retention policy. So a retention policy will help you manage data for your organization by deciding uh, whether to retain content, delete content, or retain and then delete the content. You can as well create a retention policy uh, to automatically archive uh, email from your primary uh, mailbox to archive mailbox. The custom retention policies that, that we are going to create today is an archiving uh, policy. So to create a retention policy, we use Exchange Admin Center. So you can launch Exchange. I'm logged in as the global administrator for this tenant. And I just need to launch Exchange. So at the making of this tutorial, Microsoft is transitioning from uh, the older, that is the classic Exchange Admin Center to the newer uh, Exchange Admin Center. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to leverage on the classic Exchange Admin Center. So you need to scroll down and choose a uh, classic Exchange Admin Center. then locate compliance management. And as you can see here, we have retention uh, policies and we have retention tags. So to create a retention policies, first we need to create a retention tag for that retention policy. Open retention tags. And then from here, just click the plus sign and choose the scope that you want. So we are three uh, scopes we have the first one is applied automatically to entire mailbox default so all the content within that mailbox will be uh, affected by this retention tag or policy we have another one applied automatically to a default folder the default folders are for example inbox or deleted uh, folder and we have applied by users to items and folders uh, personal so this uh, whenever we create this retention tag uh, users will have access uh, to the retention tag and they can assign uh, the retention tag themselves to the specific folders that they need we are going to create a retention tag that is automatically applied to the entire mailbox so just need to click it and then give it a name so I'm going to create a retention tag that automatically archives uh, emails uh, after two years. So I'll just give it a name like two years archive. And then under retention action, I need to move to archive. And then when the items reaches the following age, the period, as I had said, it's two years. So that is 365 years, uh, sorry. So that is 730 days, usually specify in days. So 730, and then I can just give it a comment here. Content two years old, move the archive mailbox. And then say, okay. Once you create your retention tag, go to retention policy tab. And here, as you can see, we have a default MRM policy, messaging records management. So this is automatically updated by Microsoft and we just need to create our own custom retention policy. And please don't change the name of the default MRM policy because whenever you change it, you will be exempted from the uh, updates that Microsoft routinely uh, applies to these uh, policies. So I just need to create our own policy there. Just give it a name. Just give it archiving custom policy. And then under retention tags, you click the plus sign and then you select the retention uh, tag that you created so I created two years archive then I add it and okay and then I save it please do note that you can only have one retention policy per mailbox 
and you can add more than one retention tax to a retention policy. As you can see from the example below, that is the default MRM policy, it has a set of uh, retention tags added to it. So as you can see, we have a summary here. So the archiving custom policy, this policy contains the following retention tags, two years archive. So for archiving policy to take effect, we need to go to recipients and then under mailboxes, we select the mailbox that we need to add the retention, that uh, archiving retention policy. So double click the mailbox that you need to assign the retention policy. And then you need to move fast to mailbox features and then you scroll down. Since it's an archiving retention policy, you need to enable fast archiving if it's not enabled for that mailbox. You cannot assign an archiving retention policy if you haven't uh, enabled archiving for that mailbox. So as you can see for my case, I had already enabled, so you can enable yours to be here, enable, and then you can add new details. And then after you enable, you click save, or you can just scroll up, and then under retention policy, you can see automatically the retention policy that is applied is the default MRM policy. You just need to assign the custom one that we had created before. So my for my case was archiving custom policy, and then I click save and okay. Depending on the size of your mailbox or the mailboxes that you have applied this retention policy, it will take time, but as time progresses, you can just do a close monitoring of that mailbox and you will see uh, mail content be moved to uh, the archive uh, folder that is within the archiving, uh, within the archive mailbox. So that's how easy you can uh, create a retention tag and a retention policy that does automatic archiving. And something that you need to note, as you can see, we have an orange uh, node here that tells us that uh, you can now create a single retention policy in Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. Uh, Microsoft uh, is currently deprecating these settings that we are configuring from Exchange Admin Center and they are being transferred to Security and Compliance Center. I even noticed that with the newer tenants that you create uh, in the year 2021, you will not have this configuration uh, it's, it will only be in read only mode so for newer tenants this is how the graphical user interface looks like you can only see the retention tags but you cannot edit so as you can see here and when i try to type nothing for retention policy as well the default mrm it's only in view mode uh, view only mode so the tenant that I'm currently logged in here is a three month old tenant. So if you want to read more about uh, the newer uh, settings that Microsoft uh, is advocating for, there is a link on this video description below. You can go and read more about uh, retention policies and retention labels from Microsoft documentation, even online archiving. And if you found this video useful, you can leave a thumbs up or a comment. And if you need further assistance, you can as well comment below. And I will be happy to assist. Shalom friends. Bye bye.